Everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hike to Eagle Rock. There it is. Now the hike is in northern part of San Diego County. It's a pretty easy hike. It's six and a half miles out and back, but don't let the distance fool you. It's pretty much flat or sort of up and down. So it's a good hike. Even if you are a beginner, I do recommend trying it if you wanna come here and hike to this very cool spot. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com that has parking info and maps. I'm not gonna cover that in the video. What I'm gonna show you is the turn-by-turn -turn directions to get here. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, if you could do me a favor and click the little thumbs up button, if you're liking the video, that helps other people find this video and hopefully do the hike safely. But otherwise, without further ado, ado do, let me show you how to hike to here. All right, so the trailhead is just across the street from the parking area and just south of the Cal Fire Station. And you look for this gate right here, and this is the start of the hike. This is also the PCT. And you'll see some trail signs letting you know that you are indeed on a trail, not walking into somebody's farm. And you're just going to lock that up because there are animals roaming around here. And you'll see a PCC, a PCT sign over to the right. We're going to go straight. That'll just loop around and join us in a minute. But if you go straight, you can just kind of get away from the road quicker. And you'll see in a second, that trail comes back along. The PCT comes back along and joins the little shortcut that you took. And now you are on the Pacific Crest Trail. And as you hike, you're going to see some of the signs. Hopefully they haven't been stolen. They do have a tendency to disappear here in Southern California. Um, so hopefully they'll still be there. That's kind of cool to think that you are on the PCT. This goes from Mexico to Canada. Now you're going to come to the second gate. And when you come through here, we're going to go straight through. There's a trail off to the left. And you'll see there's a Usually it's marked, it says post office. Warner Springs is a popular stop for PCT hikers because there is a post office they can resupply. Um, and there are little campgrounds here that you'll notice as you go, go up here. But keep going and we're gonna go through the last livestock fence for a while until we come back. And you're gonna join the uh, Cañada Verde Creek here. This area is called Cañada Verde, which I, th I think means um, green gully or green canyon, little canyon. Uh, and it's a nice walk for probably about 20, 30 minutes up along the babbling brook, the little creek there, really nice as you go. And you'll see there's some areas where people have stopped to eat lunch and take it easy. And you also see little side trails going off to, you know, PCT campsites and, you know, down to the water. So just a heads up, you're going to stay on this main trail, which is very thick as we go here, big that's Hot Springs Mountain. We're going to climb away from the creek. That's the highest point in San Diego County. Climb away from the creek and up a little hill. Now, there is some climbing in this, but it's not a big mountain climb by any stretch of the imagination. It's very up and down. There's High Point, and then right next to that is Palomar Observatory, which you can see peeking its head over, or it's a dome over the top of the ridge over there. I'll include a picture of the observatory in the article so you can kind of see what it looks like. The video's not doing it justice. At the top of the ridge, we're gonna go across this dirt road here, this little unmarked road that intersects. And you can see there's another PCT trail marker. And from here, we're gonna be rolling down um, along the grasslands in the distance there. And this is ranching area. This was the original part of um, the original Warner Ranch. And you can read a little bit about the history in the article. It's an interesting area. It was actually the terminus of a stagecoach route um, over here where it split. People went to San Diego or L.A. But we're going to go down a little downhill section. And from here on out, it's going to be rolling as we cross these grasslands. Now, the one part that's a little bit tricky, there's a trail that joins in from the right over here. It, I don't know if it's a trail, a wash, or there's, there's footprints in there. It might be from livestock. But when you're coming back, make sure you go back on the right trail. Don't go down there by mistake, which people do. A lot of this part looks like this. You're going to be crossing the grasslands. There's going to be cattle roaming around. And the cattle are, are pretty harmless. Um, sometimes in the trail, they'll usually just run away from you. But just a heads up. And after a little bit, you're going to come up to this big pile of boulders. And this is where Eagle Rock is. And we can make that first left right there. Or we can go straight. It doesn't matter. We're basically going to leave the PCT. And there's the PCT. Bye-bye. And we're going to go around the pile of boulders to see Eagle Rock, which you need to go around the other side to see. And as you come around, you're going to see Eagle Rock kind of poking out. 
at you here on the left. There it is. You can see the wings. Now, people do climb on there. Please be careful. There are cracks in the granite. Don't climb on the rocks. If you break it, you're going to be the guy in the news who broke Eagle Rock um, or girl or whoever. But this is it. And then from here, you basically just go back down. You can see the trail down there. Go back down the way you came. So that's it. Really cool hike. Definitely recommend it if you have not done it already. Now, once again, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com as well as other hikes in this area. If you want to combo it with another hike, you can do that. And uh, if you are watching on YouTube, if you could click a little thumbs up, thank you in advance for that. And if you want to stick around, I'll show you what this hike looks like on a map. But otherwise, I will see you guys out in the trail. Bye. So here we are on a map. Let's start with the parking. Now, the trailhead is a little bit tricky. It's across the street from the parking area right here, and that's where the gate was. If this is full, you can park. There's a big dirt area on the side of the road over here. Now, as you go up, you can see you're going to follow this wash over here, and then you're going to come up along um, the creek and Canyana Verde, hike up along the creek, and at this point, we are going to climb away from the creek up to the top of this ridge, crest the ridge, and then you're going to be crossing these grasslands over here. Now, one thing to note, which is good to see on a map here, this was that little intersection where I told you people sometimes go the wrong way when they come back. This is a different trail, uh, but it's easy to not take this one when you're coming back from here. And then you come up to the rock and you will see that it is on a rise here. It's a little hill. There we can go. See a little bit better. Um, and this was the first trail up. Whatever way you go around, uh, you just need to go around. Here you can see the PCT continues. And if we swing around here, there it is. You can see even a little satellite photo shadow of Eagle Rock, but that's the route. And then when you're done, you just obviously go back the way you came. Mm-hmm.